Okay. Two SCVs sent out, so this is going to be double barracks here. And that is just below the Overlord Scout path, correct? Yep. It's crazy to me how good StarCraft two players have become at just skirting the line on how close you can hide something almost in plain sight. Well, it's funny because it's like a meta. I almost feel like, oh my god, it's a third Three. one. Three? Okay. So, and a fourth. Fourth! Okay, so well, this is this just, is this is... The never-before-seen fifth SCV comes down, <laughs> and we're like, this isn't a strategy, you have to keep some of those at home. Yeah. Uh, I almost feel like if you are, look at how close their series is, that's actually amazing. I, but again, I, I almost feel as if, if you are going to be playing against a top-tier Terran in a tournament, you should actually throw whatever scout pattern you think is out good out the window and just scout in a stupid direction, your Overlord, because that's where they hide well, the racks. <gasps> He's going to float them in! Strats from 1998. I can't even believe this, Tasteless. This is so funny. This is one of the first things that... There was a drone uh, out looking, too, by the way. Yeah. Um, this is one of the very, very first strategies ever in StarCraft was Terrence floating a building into the corner of your base. The barracks are usually a factory if it was in StarCraft one in the early days. Um, but, you know, we haven't really seen this in a long time, and, you know, I, this is just going to work. I just can't even believe what I'm looking at here, man. Oh, my God, he's making his third base right away. <laughs> he sees the scout timing. He's kind of, like, snuck that in. Okay, that Marine might That's be That's trapped, right? No, he no, can go to the bottom. it does actually fit. Okay. Of course he knows how to do this perfectly. Um, all right, Artos, just, you know, sometimes you look at the screens, uh, the, the in-game screen, but I think for now we should watch for Solar Space. I can't believe this is how he's going to kill him. Like, what what, yeah. what a way to lose game one. See, so much for your practice, man. Watch, the lings are going to go out to, like, move that. Watch his face. Watch Solar's face. Okay, here, here we go. Guys. We're getting close. Okay, well, uh, we don't have their the face screen. on camera, though, here. All right, we guys, will we'll, describe, we'll be able to describe it to you. Yeah. Come on, T.Y., go. T.Y. is, like, really waiting to. Okay. No, not much change. Yeah, not much of a reaction. I can, I can see him micro and his camera's way more. Yeah. I can feel the anger being pushed deep down inside. And, I mean, this is just enough damage right away. I don't know. Oh, you don't even need bunkers with this. No, yeah. Look, you can set or set micro all the way back to where you're reinforcing from your four barracks. <laughs> yeah. And now there's not enough. And again, this is four Marines at a time being made here. Hatchery at half health. The second Queen's going to come out. You know, there's no way to heal these Marines, but I think the amount that's coming out here is just so much. Yeah. A transfuse isn't going to do much, but, you know, buy you a few seconds, I think, of fighting time here as a Zerg. Mm -hmm. I love that he sacrificed that there so the three things wouldn't get him. And now he's just going to attack forward. Speed finishes up, but does it matter? This he's already is, killed the main hatch. Yeah, this is funny because the pool is also in the main. Uh, so he can end up killing that off, which means every lane you see is what is all that you're going to get this game. Yeah, well, this is this oh is pretty God. much over. You see the look on Solar's face. GG. He literally just floated oh. four axes in. That's, I can't believe that that's... Now, what his strategy was. <laughs> side. We've seen games where Terrans have, if Zerk control one side, usually the top side here, uh, and Terrans will still push through the bottom and win. Yeah. Um, so you know this map is very unique, and I think especially in TVZ it makes for some pretty interesting games. So far it definitely has. Like I really liked uh, the way that we've seen it, where you just kind of wall off your natural really heavily, and then expand behind yourself and push through the back. I have quite liked that style uh, for Terran Berser. But I think the map is definitely not solved, and I'm sure TY put a lot of thought into what to do. And again, I it is my opinion that he's the smartest StarCraft II player. Like, just gets the game to such a level. I think and, him, SOS, and... Uh, well, I think SOS is like... Uh, well, SOS if, is If you're a really prodigy. smart, but also a little bit crazy about it, you know? Yeah, well, he seems to know, I think, circumstantially. He's like Picasso or something. Season where he oh. you know, made a nexus in the main where it's like, okay. By the way, uh, Solar, <laughs> going to go for a very quick Nidus attack. Yeah. I saw the Roach Warren uh, coming down. I thought, oh, maybe he's going to try to do some kind of Ling Roach attack at the start. Uh, instead, it's going to be the Nidus. And this is actually an extraordinarily early Nidus. And keep in yes. mind that you can... Um, 
expand in different directions on this map as a Zerg, so it's not clear mm. entirely you know, that, the, that the Zerg is lagging behind on expansions. Well, this could be this could be difficult then. He does have medevacs coming. He does have stim on the way. Yes. So stims. if he pulls all his SCVs, I mean, it's only four queens, nine roaches. Like this is doable with 15 marines in your SCVs, right? Uh, let's you get those see. medevacs out. You have stim finish. It's only a two base zerg on 30 drones. Like this is, I, there's a chance here for sure that he holds this. Okay, yeah, stimming see. coming forward here. Wow, these queens are getting killed so quickly. Yeah. This it looks like it isn't even a strategy. Yeah, I, I think he was looking to run into a more tech-heavy opener. Yeah, this was you like... You know, like if this was like uh, three commands off of Hellions or something. <laughs> well, now I guess we know why Solar got picked first, huh? Damn. Yeah. That, well, that was, was like... Uh... What's that? A little proxy SCV going on. This might be a very quick day after we had a very long day on yeah. Wednesday. <laughs> well, the first best of three we did on Wednesday was an hour and a half. Yeah, and it was just awesome. Yeah. The Fantastic. first best of three we did here today was, what, like 12 minutes? And it was woo -wee. <laughs> Yeah. If we were in a restaurant, I would have sent that best of three back, man. Yeah. <laughs> you were looking for any proxy. This appears to be the one where it's going to be barracks and then factory. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely think so. But do you think the factory will be out there? Or is he going to make know. it at home? I think he might make it at home, but we'll see. I'd like to actually just see it out there, to be honest. I, I oh, a reactor definitely making it out there. Okay, cool. You don't just, like, reactor and then make the factory at home, and then, like, they come and scout it and <laughs> kill your reactor. Yeah, You're yeah. like, oh, no. Oh, man, that takes a long time to build. <laughs> yeah. There's the factory. So I'm guessing this will be a tank push, like marine tank. Could be. It seems like there's a lot of different ways you could try to, to do this. Cyclones, maybe? Is that possible? Yeah, you, could, you could go. I we just saw that with a... Um, reactor marines go well with a siege tank, right? They do. They do. Yeah, I mean, one thing about Terran when they do this type of, of play is there's a lot of different combinations you could make. That is true. And Protoss doesn't have a lot early on. And funnily enough, we actually have a later proxy here. Yeah. Now, this is where uh, things get a little bit difficult to, to predict ex as far as how the game goes because obviously all of the army investment is over here in the middle of the map. Mm. And uh, let's say that Protoss makes an Oracle, which I think they most certainly will. Yeah, uh, for sure. Well, then, I mean, you're going to kill all the workers. You really are going to kill yeah. all the workers. Like, this is going to be one of those oracles that only stops killing because it runs out of energy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, that being said, when you go, like, if your opponent is making an oracle and has so few gateway units, you go Marine Tank Liberator, which is what it looks like we're going to see here. Mm -hmm. You might just kill your opponent regardless of not having any <laughs> CVs left at home or very yeah. few, right? That is definitely so, a reality. Stat spots this, but, you know, He's this like, uh -oh. is about as late as you could have spotted it before the army just shows up and then you get to see what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the Oracle's coming. Now, keep in mind that um, you know, spotting that out there tells you that most certainly the uh, main is going to be naked of defense mm -hmm. and you could probably kill a lot of workers and that's economic damage that's gonna happen basically before the push starts here from Terran. The problem is, is the push from Terran has the power to both destroy the defenses you have at your natural, and then kill all of your buildings and end the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, and the Oracle, Oracle won't kill that army Yeah, either. the Oracle will, will, will slow down uh, the, will kill a, a large number of the workers, but then you've already basically made the army that you yeah. needed. So this is kind of a funny situation. Yeah, this is where you oh just know Oh my god, that, you can just get the warp gate. Oh, if he doesn't finish oh, warp gate, that's oh it. Oh my, yeah, that's absolutely You have four it. units and you're not getting more, really. Okay, it looks like he might be able to get it done in time here. Uh, one energy. Completed. Wow, that's crazy. However, getting the cybernetics core is also still a pretty big deal. Yeah, he should actually pick that off. Slow yeah. zealots are going to be about the most useless, <laughs> useless thing against this, you know? Yeah. And look at that, it's run out of energy. There's a second oracle on the way. I don't know if that has to be sent back here to try to help defend or if you want to keep trying to kill off workers. Um, oh, you God. know, these pylons, the placement here is becoming pretty important. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, slow zealots are so garbage. They are so bad. And, and especially in a situation with a liberator here and nothing to contest uh, it. This would have been hard if he went robo at home, you know? Yeah. GG. Wow. Ouch. You're just 